everybody, Vaping Vinny here again, and today we're back on a hardware review. And it's this beauty, the Twisted Message 24. That's not the beauty, that's the pot. There's the RDA. There we are. I'm not going to say an awful lot about it, I'm just going to have a vape and then we'll get it down on the deck. Pop a fresh building, wick it up. And then I'll come back with my final thoughts on this RDA. Uh, the tubes I'm using today is from the Skewered Range from Wickediction, and it's banana, drizzled, and caramel. My cotton of choice today is Cotton Junkie, again from Wickediction. <laughs> and the coils I'm using today are Mr. B's Killer Coils, and I'm putting in some frame staples today. Right, let's get it on the deck without further ado and get a build and wick in. Bear with me. Okay, the Twisted Mess is 24 on the deck. Here we are. Have a look round at the engraving. Obviously, you've got the Twisted Mess's logo and some engraving down there. Uh, lovely big airflow on these, which is adjusted with the top cap, which I'll explain when we come back up top. And there we go. It's, uh, the sleeve, the top cap, is pretty much their usual design. But I'll, like I say, I'll, top, I'll talk about that when I come back up top. And there's the deck. Now I've opted to use the heat treated grub screws. Uh, in the bag of spares, there's a whole plethora of various seals, uh, 510 drip tip adapter. All important squonk pin and some replacement grub screws, which this lovely tool that they send with it is for. But obviously, that tool doesn't do them. No tool to do them. Although, it's a lot better standard of tool than a lot of the other ones, but it only fits the spare grub screws. Anyway, I'm going to do things a bit differently with this. Now, I've tried using the outer post holes. And coil into that cot post hole, but it, it, the, the, the leg of the coil is huge and it often strangulates the cotton, or you have to really wick it a pain in the bum way. And I don't like pain in the bum ways, so just trim that bit of wire off there. I use the center holes only. Not for everyone's taste, I know, but it just makes it look neater. And they're huge. Look, the tool fits through the holes. That's how big the post holes are. They are absolutely ginormous. So, I'm going to pop these fuse collapsons straight in, he says, the middle two holes. It might not be for everyone's style and etc but it works for me and it just looks a hell of a lot neater and steps up the wick in a bit in my eyes compared to doing it with all post holes Excuse the uh, fat fingers, sorry about that. I must remember I'm filming when I do this. It just makes the whole process so much easier and faster using those middle posts. And these screws can take a beating. They really can. As you can tell, I'm not being overly gentle. There we are. Settle that up in a minute. There, coils fitted. Now let's pop them on a mech and give them a pulse. Like I say, using those two centre holes just makes life a lot easier and faster. And the wicking 
it improves so much. There we are. Let's give them a pull. Ooh, they're feisty. Well, they're almost perfect straight away. Just a little. Get them firing. Lovely. I will leave that to cool. Just adjust that slightly. There we are. I'll put that build there, there. Well, I will leave it then to cool. Uh, my cotton today I'm using is Cotton Junkie from Wick Addiction. And a quick shout out for the coils. They're uh, Mr. B's handcrafted killer coils. And uh, the frame staples today I'm using. We pair of frame staples. Right. Let's get this whipped up. Alright. I'll tell you what I think. Than that side, then that side out a wee bit. There we go. Lovely. You see what I mean? By putting those in that middle bay, it just gives you so much room for the wick it's not going to strangulate you're not going to have issues getting the juice to your coils just makes so much sense to me those two outer posts just aren't needed at all in my humble opinion I'll pop the other wick in Side up, a little bit of it. That one. There we are. And the juice today I'm using is banana drizzled in caramel in the skewered range from Wick Addiction. Juice these uh, beauties up. So, put a good juice well on it. Three and a half mil deep. There we are. Let's give that a quick. Oh, yes. Right, we'll pop up top and I'll give you my final thoughts on the pros and cons on the Twisted Message 24. And we're back up top with the Twisted Message 24. There we go. Right, I'm going to get straight into my issues with this RDA. 
the sleeve. Obviously, you unscrew. I have to pop it off. You unscrew the top cap, which is pretty stiff, to adjust the airflow with the sleeve. Now, to me, that's just exactly the same as Twisted Mess's previous incarnations with the sleeve with slightly different airflow. Nothing new, just a smaller RDA. It's a mil smaller, they were the big ones, and that's obviously a 24 mil RDA. At least to change the deck, but the deck, to me, these out of two posts are pointless. Just have a two post deck, slightly have them wider apart for bigger, wider build your frame staples and things, your big frame staples, and just have two posts because then you're not choking the wick or anything like that with that. And like I said, the top cap is exactly the same. Um, and another thing, they send in loads of spares. I mean, there's a Delrin drip tip that fits straight in the cap, but you have to push it that far in. You can hardly get your lips around it. Look how low that is. I might as well just take the cap off and suck on the sleeve. It, completely pointless. And there's two of them. The black one is slightly higher. Which means you're stuck using the metal drip tip. Which, personally, I'm not a huge fan of metal drip tips. Bits of lip get stuck to it and all sorts of things. It gets all yucky. And looks disgusting but saying that it looks nice obviously the stainless version that I've got here looks it's clean it's really clean um, uh, back to the spurs you can obviously adjust the sleeve on the airflow and there's an adapter so you can put single coil builds in obviously with a squonking that's ideal for some squonkers that like to use single coil builds in the squonks But, it's a £45 RDA on most websites. For me, for that kind of money, it's not progressed from much from that. All the, the old Twisted Messes. Yes, they've done it in 24mm, great. Because that's, yeah, it's just sensible in my eyes. Um, but it, all the changes to the build deck, and I don't think they've got the build deck right, in my opinion. Um, having said that, using the two posts as I've done in here, you don't strangulate your wig, your juices get to your coil, so you get the flavour on the cloud production. Don't you? Cloud production's brilliant. The airflow, the size of the airflow is spot on. The control within the airflow closing it, it's not moved on from the old ones really. It's, it, there's nothing new on the sleeve. But, I'll just close that a wee bit. Yeah. They need to think of something a bit more different. Great they turned the deck. In my eyes, they've done the deck slightly wrong. It, it should have been a two post deck and a wider, wider the middle post spread them out a wee bit but would I pay £45 for that? don't think I would um, I'd, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank uh, Mr Sub-Zero for supplying me the RDA for this review but yeah it's a nice vape but I'm not using the whole deck and when I do use the whole deck it's not as good a vape so if you have one of these, just try Just you try using middle posts. Thank me another day. Um, there we go. Mixed reviews on the Twisted Messes. It's it's okay, but it could be better. In my eyes, it could be better. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, I'll just take the opportunity now. I have got a Patreon page now up and running. If anyone would like to keep me independent, uh, which I intend to try my best to do, um, Please, I'll pop a link on. Uh, if you want to support me, that would be superb. 
uh, drop a like, subscribe, any comments, and I'll see you all again soon, my lovelies. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.